Hello, I'm Wataru, and this is Mariko from University of Tokyo. Today, we'd like to discuss tracking mimicats by Sysmon and Elasticsearch. First, this is my profile. Again, I'm Wataru Matsuda. I'm product researcher for computer security. I experienced CISA survey and published report and book in Japan. Hello, I'm Mariko Fujimoto. I'm also a product researcher of University of Tokyo. And we have been together working for uh, vulnerability verification or log analysis. Nice to meet you. We've been investigating how to detect attack from logs. So this is a first, first presentation in international conference. So I'm a little bit nervous. So we, we are very glad to talk about our research in public. Thank you very much. So this is our organization, SciSoc Tokyo. SciSoc Tokyo researches on internet security through collaboration with industry, academia, and government. So we mainly promote human resource education and research for cyber security. Here's our agenda for today. Finally, we will show you a demonstration and a specific method of searching for Mimikatsu activity. Background. In a targeted attack, attackers often hack active directory using Mimikatsu. Uh, Mimikatsu is a hacking tool for uh, Windows OS. Targeted attacks are becoming more complicated and attackers may remain for a long time period of time. This figure shows simplified cyber kill chain, preparation, intrusion, lateral movement, and activity. Oh. So uh, only four steps now. In targeted attacks, 100% intrusion prevention is not realistic. We need to consider that attackers are inside our network. So it's important to detect lateral movement and respond as soon as possible. Wait a moment. Ah, thank you. By the way, let me talk about Active Directory. Uh, this is an overview of, of Active Directory. The Active Directory is a directory service developed by Microsoft. If you are a domain administrator, you can access any information and control all users and computers. These features are very convenient not only for administrators, but also for attackers. This is why attacker liberates the Active Directory. According to JP CC, Active Directory was under attack in many targeted attacks. Attackers leverage domain administrator privilege in, in, in 15 of 16 organizations, almost all. This is a breakdown. Many attack, in many cases, attacker use stolen credentials or Active Directory vulnerability. Generally speaking, attackers move laterally in the network after intrusion. First thing to do for attackers is using mimicats for stealing credentials and eventually gain the admin, domain administrator privilege. Once an attacker gains domain administrator privilege, they can control Active Directory environment completely. And of course, they can easily steal sensitive information from servers, from computers. The Mimikatsu. This is a hacking tool for Windows OS. Many attackers use Mimikatsu to get credential information from computers. This is one example of Mimikatsu. Uh, you can see the password is password. 
very weak password. An update often released with enhanced features. And trademark is Kiwi. So as you can see, this is uh, great information. Uh, this is on, on, uh, just one example of MimeCut feature. MimeCut have several functions, such as stealing credentials, private escalation, and create forged authentication ticket, called golden ticket. In general, attackers hack computers again and again to expand infection using mimicats. Challenges. A lot of persons in charge of computer security are eager to detect mimicats. However, you cannot clearly detect mimicats activity with Windows event logs. Recently, some reports of mimicats detection using Sysmo were released. This report says that Sysmo records DLLs that are loaded by mimicats. This report also introduced a method of detection, but researchers tested specific Windows and mimicats versions which may cause false detection in your environment. In our research, we analyzed DLL loaded, DLL loaded by each Mimikaz and Windows version. And we also show you a method of far more effective detection. So let me explain about Sysmo. Uh, Sysmo is a free tool you can download from Microsoft website. Sysmo monitors process and loaded DLLs, and so on. Sysmo records this information as Windows event log. If, if we know signature DLLs loaded by Mimikatz, we might be able to detect Mimikatz activity. This is one example of Sysmo logs. Here is image. This means parent process. In this case, mimikatz.exe. Here is image loaded. This means child process. Uh, in this case, wintrust.dll. So, in this case, so this means mimikatz.exe load wintrust.dll. And there are a lot of information, such as process ID, uh, computer, account, uh, computer name, and user account names in Sysmo logs. Sysmo is a very useful tool. In previous research, this report introduced detection methods for Mimikatz activity. The former report is written by Jake. <coughs> this report introduced DLLs loaded by Mimikatz. I think this report is the first report of Sysmo for detecting Mimikatz activity. A later one is written by Robert that explained how to detect mimic activity with ELK, Elastic Search, Logstats, and Kibana. We refer to their method. In previous report, uh, in previous report focus on the de detection method, but they don't test various windows and mimic versions. Uh, Previous report tested only Windows 7 and only one version of Mimikatz. So we found out DLLs are changeable depending on Windows and Mimikatz. For example, in Windows 7, in Windows 7 environment, Mimikatz load LPK, uh, USB 10.dl, and so on. On the other hand, in Windows 10 environment, Mimikatz load DLLs different from Windows 7. There is a difference of Mimikatz loading between each Windows environment. We can say the same thing about Mimikatz. Accordingly, if you use DLL list from the report, uh, it can cause a false detection. For example, this DLL list can, de can detect in Windows 7 environment because so DLLs are totally matched, but in Windows 10 environment, not detected because bcrypt32.dl doesn't match. This means false negative. OK. 
Okay, from here, we will explain our proposed method for more practical use of previous research. So we mentioned that Yeah, sorry. Uh, we mentioned that the LLs that are loaded by mimicats are different depending on environments. So we examined the difference of the LL loading with various windows and mimicats versions. So as a result, we find that there are some common DLLs that are loaded uh, regardless of environments. So for this example, these three DLLs are loaded regardless of Windows version. So by using these common DLLs as a target to be detected, false negative rate can be uh, reduced, even the environment is changed. So we examined in the combination of sorry, uh, we test uh, we tested we examined uh, loaded DLLs in these. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, we examined uh, loaded DLLs in the combination of these Windows version and these Mimikatsu versions. So we tested all currently supported Windows versions, and we executed Mimikatsu in these Windows versions and create common DLL list. So we called commonly loaded DLL list as common DLL list. So it, it is difficult to test all Mimikaz versions because updates are often released. So we selected these three Mimikaz versions. So Mimikaz 2.1.1 this is a latest, this was the latest version at that point. However, a recently um, newer version of Mimikatsu uh, is, uh, is released. However, uh, we haven't tested yet. We are sorry. And uh, second, so Mimikatsu 2.1 was released around the time when the difference in loaded DLLs was reported in this previous research. It was about a year ago. And Mimikatz 2.0 was released when targeted attacks started to increase in Japan, such as against Japan Pension Service. This was about a year, about two years ago. So we evaluated detection rate of our proposed method. So we checked if the Mimikatsu execution is correctly detected using the common DLL list. So we conduct normal business operations like this for a few days and run Mimikatsu several times during these operations. And uh, gather sysmon logs from these uh, test environments. So this is a detail how to evaluate the detection rate. At first, uh, check the DLL. So this image loaded, recorded in 
event ID 7. And next, uh, check if any of DLL match the common DLL list. So in this case, this DLL is included in common DLL list. And then check the process name. So this image. And that wrote all DLLs in the common DLL list. So please note that event ID 7 is recorded every single DLL. So we should uh, investigate all event logs regarding the process. And if there is a process that wrote all, mimic, all DLLs in the common DLL list, and process name is mimikatz.exe. So mimikatz execution is correctly detected. So in this case, so process name is mimikatz.exe. So detected correctly. Uh, however, if it isn't, we consider it as false detection. From here, we will explain the result of our verification. So this is a part of a result of uh, Mimikatz DLL loading. So this is an example of difference among Windows versions. So you can see several difference uh, among Windows versions. For instance, this DLL is only loaded in Windows 10. On the other hand, uh, there are some common DLL, so regardless of Windows version, so highlighted in yellows. So this is only a part of a result. So we published all results on our GitHub. So this is an example of difference among Mimikatz version. So you can see several difference. So among Mimikatz versions, so relatively in short terms, so only for two years. So we think it can be changed in the future update of Mimikatz. So this is a list of DLLs that are commonly loaded in all tested environment. So these are Windows system DLLs. So other application can also use these DLLs. So we can't decide whether Mimikatz is executed based on only each DLL. So it is a key point to check whether all of these DLLs are loaded. So this is a result of detection rate of our proposed method. So we tested more than 3,000 processes, including Mimikatz and Resistimate programs. So we haven't seen any false detection so far. However, we didn't uh, test all possible cases, so please note that uh, false, false detection uh, can be occur depending on environments or operations. So we will explain how to use the analysis result of our proposal method. So here is an algorithm of detection. So we propose to use common DLL list. However, uh, if false positive occurs by using only common DLL list, we propose that first, at first, com compare with common DLL list, and second, compare with DLL list for specific Windows version. We think it is possible to improve the detection accuracy effectively by this algorithm. So in step two, so compare the loaded DLLs with the DLLs for corresponding Windows versions. For instance, if you, if you want to check the Windows 7 computers, so please compare with um, DLL list 
for Windows 7. So we provide uh, DL list for each Windows version. So in, on our GitHub, in addition to common DL list. So please use it as a reference. So this is observation on the analyst result. At first, so more DLLs tend to be loaded in newer versions of Windows and Mimikatz. And second, so even for the same Windows and Mimikatz versions, so there are differences depending on env some environment factors. For instance, these are both tested in Windows 7 and uh, use same Mimikatz versions. However, the right, the Z, uh, sorry, at the left. So it is uh, initial status after installation. So no patch applied and PowerShell version is 2.0. On the other hand, the right so applies latest patches and PowerShell version is 5.0, so you can see a several difference. So we think loaded DLLs can be different, so depending on various environment factors. So we suggest to maintain the DLL list to be detected suitably. So from here, we will show you demonstration of our proposed method. So we need some tools to use our proposal method in real environment. So we created some sample tools. So there are two Java tools. At first, uh, for creating common DLL list, and second, for detecting mimicats. So these tools can pass uh, exported event logs as CSV file format. So it is difficult to parse, CSV, uh, parse event log itself. However, uh, we can export event logs as text file using Windows normal function. So this is a flow of uh, the tools. The first tool gather exported event logs from test environments and extract DLL loaded by Mimikatz and create common DLL list. In the second tool, um, compare with common DLL list with logs uh, from computers we want to check. So we will show you a demonstration. So before using our tools, so we firstly should export our event logs uh, as CSV file format. So this is the event viewer. So we can export. So this is a Sysmo log. So we can export event logs like this. So save as events. And so we can specify the file format. So select CFSV and save. So that's all. Very easy procedure. So let's. Um, execute a tool and detect mimicats. So we provide two Java tools, and we provide tools as a equip Eclipse project files. So you can download from our GitHub and import your Eclipse. The first tool, create common DL list, can pass exported event logs and create common DL list. So these are uh, input directory of the tools. So 
these are input files. For instance, so this is exported event logs from test environment. So this tool, uh, this log contains all image loaded event, so including mimicats. So like this. This tool uh, pass uh, event logs and extract DLLs loaded by Mimica. So let's execute the tool. So that tool is executed. So this, these are output of the tools. For instance, These are DLL list uh, loaded in Windows 7. And this tool also can cre create common DLL list like this. These are DLLs that are commonly loaded in these test, test environment. And you can also see the all result of DLL loading, so li like this format. But next, so let's detect mimicats using the common DLL list. So this tool, Sysmon Detect, uh, compare with common DLL list and logs. These are input of the tools. So this is also exported event logs from computers we want to check. Also CSV file format. So let's execute the tools. Sorry, um, so this is too small, but this tool can um, show the environment name and process ID. So that all load all DLLs in the common DLL list. So the mimicats um, can be executed on the listed process. So we should check this environment. So my demo is all. So however, uh, it is not realistic to investigate each environment. So next, so Wataru will show you a demonstration using log centralized tools. Okay, this tool can detect mimic cuts activity uh, using centralized log with elastic search. Uh, this slide shows overview of detection uh, using ELK, elastic search, log search, and Kibana. ELK can gather Windows server, uh, sorry, ELK can gather Windows event log through WinLog bit. First, you have to install you have to install Sysmon and WinLogBit into your PCs. And next, Sysmon records DLLs, and WinLogBit sends Windows event log to Elk server through Logstash. Finally, centralized, centralized logs are analyzed by Elasticsearch. I'll show you. Here is a Kibana display. Uh, you can see uh, the, you can see the overview of Windows event logs. And here is the visualize, uh, visualize of current process. So, this is image loaded, uh, I mean child process. Here is image, parent process, and it shows 
プラス ID and current name、so、I think the Kibana is very good tool for visualization but、uh, in this study I couldn't find the way to detect m i m i c a t a c t i v i t y using Kibana so in this study I don't use Kibana I made、uh, m i m i c a t a c t i v i t y detection tool using Elasticsearch with Python, with Python instead of Kibana So I'll show you. So this is a Python tool for m i n c a t a detection. So it, it, the character is very small.、Uh, the, uh, here is the common D error list. And around here,、uh, creating query and analyzing. This code is only 100 lines. Very simple, very small tools. OK, so let's move. Suspicious executable file. Here is the xxx.exe file. So you can see the QE mark.、Uh, in the real environment, attacker will change the file name、uh, from mimcat.exe to、uh, something、um, such as、uh, svchost.exe,、uh, likely real file name. So、in this demo, we changed the name xxx.exe. Let's execute this file as an administrator. OK, a y this is a m i m i c a t So we can think this computer was compromised by attacker, and attacker ran m i m i c a t as an administrator. Let's detect with this tool. Now,、uh, sending query.、Oh. Mm. At that time,、uh, the Windows event logs are sent by WinlogBit, and this tool analyzes、uh, uh, the Windows event logs. So,、uh, sorry, very small. This is xxs.exe, and here, press ID and time, and client name. You should start instant response. If you detect m i m i c a t activity, these codes are published to, to, in, in the、uh, GitHub. So please feel free、uh, to use this code.、Okay. So that tool was、uh, the overview of that tool. The Python tool sent the JSON query,、uh, including common D error list, and Python tool list. Receive response including logs, matched commodity error list, finally analyzing logs and detecting m i m i c a t s The reference. So, source code that we showed you a demo was published in GitHub, github.com、uh, slash SciSoc Tokyo. The test result and h a r d j o b code and my Python code are included. Please feel free to use these files. The future works. In that demo,、uh, we use log forwarding agent, WinLogBeat. But sometimes it's difficult to install log forwarding agent in your environment. So we will research a better way to gather the logs. So we guess the、uh, WMR is a random solution, but we need more investigation. And this is another topic. Let me explain about invoke m i m i c a t s Actually, there are two choices to use m i m i c a t s First is m i m i c a t s file, such as m i m i c a t s e x e called m i m i c a t s on disk. We tested this option,、uh, m i m i c a t s on disk. And I showed you the demo、uh, used m i m i c a t s on disk. Another is i n v o k e m i m i c a t s i n v o k e m i m i c a t s is a PowerShell module. a t t a c k e r s load m i m i c a t s process into memory directly. So, this means fileless m i m i c a t s If an invoke m i m i c a t s was used, you can see powershell.exe as a parent process. So, actually, I wanted to show you the demo, but this PC doesn't have、uh, internet connection environment. So, I'll show you the movie. So, 
first uh, executes the power cell as the administrator. So impact mini cut run on power cells. And impact mini cut is very simple. Only one liner command we're executing. So download from Mimi download Mimi cuts from internet and executing. So you will see the credential information. Just a moment. Uh, this is the result. So you can see the password, the there is the credential information. So this is Mimikatz. So you can detect same tools and same D common error list. You can find, uh, you can detect invoke Mimikatz. Now sending queries and now analyzing. Okay, so detected. So sorry, very small. This is the powerset.exe as a parent process. Okay. So far. We can detect uh, invoke mimic cuts, but however, we need more information and data uh, about invoke mimic cuts. So we will con uh, continue the research. This is under investigation. And one more thing, we introduced the Sysmon, but it might cause a large amount of logs. So you can see more than 90% logs are event ID 7, Sysmon. That's too much. So we need to configure the settings of Sysmon to reduce logs. You can configure the config files and specify the DLL name. This is just an example. In this case, only ADV API 32 and crypto32.dll are recorded into event logs. This is just an example. Uh, please note that in the real environment, please write down all the LLs in the common DLL list. This is just an example. In our test environment, we can reduce uh, log amount, uh, reduce from 90% to 20%. Please try it. Conclusion. Uh, early detection of mimic execution is a key for quick response. As a result, we can minimize damages of attacks. Mimikatz load different DLLs depending on environment. So we suggest to common DLL list for detection. You can use our DLL list on GitHub, but if possible, we suggest to create your own DLL list in your environment. So you can detect Mimikatz more accurately using your own DLL list. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh,谢谢福记组跟帮助大家。呃,各位朋友们什么问题要想要请问两位讲者的。他们用了这个微软免费的工具那个Sysmon来做了一些行为上的分析啊,政策那个Minicast。有没有什么问题? 可以翻成中文啊,為什麼不用API so, okay. Uh, 
Oh, we don't know the information. Thank you very much. We will investigate. This tool is specified for only mimickers, so not other hacking tools. <笑>沒問題趕快我們這邊中英文各種語言都可以翻譯你說 Procedure was on GitHub, and so we refer. So, sorry, just a moment. Mm. Uh, the specific method for detecting uh, Sysmo. So, this report is very useful. Please refer this report and uh, our GitHub, our GitHub site. So this report describes uh, how to um, set a uh, Sysmon configuration very, um, in very detailed information. So please refer this procedure. Uh, Elasticsearch can uh, search the real time, so we will be sending uh, in, uh, sending logs real time. But of course, the Python tool is not real time. After uh, several, in, uh, we recommend executing logs so frequently, not real time. Python tool is not real time. Oh, no need. 我看後面站人多人有沒有什麼問題想問的好請說好不好請教一下就是看起來是一定要裝 
准确度没有这么高。你们有试过这个方式吗？I think so. There are um, another tools uh, instead of this one, but uh, we focused on uh, Windows default tools or free tools. So in this study, we pick up the system. Oh. So I think uh, some security products can uh, monitor the uh, execution of process and uh, centralize an an analysis. But you know, we focus on Windows normal function and open source. Oh, 哎，时间差不多。呃，我 summary 一下哦。其实他们做法就是他们在 Windows 上面装 Sysmon， 然后产生这个 Event Log 七。Event Log 七就是载入第二档的事件，把即时载入的事件透过 Win Win Log Bit 传到 Elixir， 然后在 Elixir 做了一些研究跟搜寻，然后我们找到了一些第二的 sequence 可以侦测 Minicast。看吧，只要三十秒就可以讲完这个套盒了。<笑>好，那个我们掌声谢谢妈，不计不计时跟妈子打，谢谢。